Hey everybody, Will the Watch Clicker here and welcome back to the studio. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Notice Sector GMT. The Notice Sector GMT is one of the first watches outside of Seiko to be using the new GMT movement, the NH34. Even though it is using a new GMT movement, the Sector GMT is still affordable at only $450. Notice has been targeting more affordable price points with the Sector series, and I'm glad to see the Sector GMT falling right into that. Even though the Sector GMT is made to be more affordable, it doesn't lack anything anywhere. Without any further ado, let's jump into the video review of the Notice Sector GMT. Notice is trying and succeeding to capture nearly every type of watch with the Sector series. What almost seems like a Pokemon game where you gotta catch them all, the Sector embodies a new soul with each iteration. From the simple sport series to the more complicated pilot, the Sector has something for everyone. Now those who love a fourth hand on their dial, especially when they travel, will have a Sector built for them too. The Sector GMT is exactly what the name says. The Sector GMT comes in at 38mm wide, 47mm lug to lug, and 11mm wrist to crystal. Those are great dimensions for a fixed bezel watch, but even better for a GMT. Thanks to the angular lugs that slope downward dramatically as they leave the case, this watch certainly won't sit flat on your wrist. With a slightly longer lug-to-lug -lug for a 38mm watch, it carries a decent amount of wrist presence as well. Watches with shorter lug-to-lugs, like the Chris Ward C63, look and feel smaller on the wrist. The Sector GMT is a watch that takes advantage of every millimeter of its dimensions. The Sector GMT takes a no-nonsense approach to the dial layout. Text is kept to a minimum and is completely absent at 6 o'clock, save for the date window. The 1 through 12 numerals are large and legible, while the inner GMT track is smaller and requires just an extra second to see where the GMT hand is pointing. There's no question about what hand is what as the hour hand touches the inside of the GMT track, while the minute hand extends out to the edge of the dial. The GMT hand contrasts with the sunburst blue dial and complements the hour hand. Neither will obscure the numerals. Speaking of the GMT, this is using the new Seiko NH34, which debuted in 2022 in the Seiko 5 GMT as the 4R34. This is a caller GMT complication where the GMT hand and date can be set after the crown has popped out one time. The second position of the crown will adjust the time as we're all used to on three-hand watches. Many will find this useful when they're primarily in their home time zone, but wish to track a second time zone elsewhere. For a $450 watch, the Sector GMT is one of the most complete packages I've seen from Notice, or any other brand for that matter. The case finishing is superb and on the same level of watches two to three times its price. There is polishing in all the right places and the brushing always makes me take an extra look when the light hits it just right. The Sector GMT has all the calling cards of an affordable Notice watch, while still incorporating everything that makes their more expensive watches so desirable. The only fault I can find with the Sector GMT is that I find the hour and minute hand a little too vanilla, but they're legible and that's the point, isn't it? I'm happy to report that Notice did a far better job aligning the hands on this GMT than Seiko did on their own GMT. A little QC goes a long way, Seiko. I'm releasing this video right before the Sector GMT restock goes live, and I have no doubt the second batch will sell out just as quickly as the first. If you've always wanted to notice GMT or wanted to give a new Seiko GMT movement a try, this is the perfect watch to kick off the new year with. Thanks for watching the video review of the Notice Sector GMT. For more reviews, head over to watchclicker.com. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.